Parade Marshal Kathy McDonald leading the horses to the post. This evening's second race, the second half of the Daily Double. These are fillies and mares. Racing one mile, purse of $1,900, a field of nine. There are no changes. The one trip of Bella, held by Mimi and Sander uh, Lundenberg of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Robert Stewart trains with Donner Vine Jr. driving. The two, Brian's little girl, owned by Brian McGoya of Jackson, New Jersey, and John McGoya of Howell. Greg Luther trains with Dave Miller. Three before sunrise over the Brittany Farms of Vassales, Kentucky, and Daisy Acres of Astoria, New York. Alan Regal trains for Jeff Fouch. Four next episode, owned by Paul Reitzacker of Wausau, and Ohio. Jack Daly trains and drives. The five Red Romain, owned by Dave Noel of Dublin, Don Feaster, training and driving. Number six, she's a radio flyer, owned by Charles and Christine Black and Chip of Asheville. Mike Lee trains for Chip Noble. Seven is Delta Flyer, owned by Rhonda Stidham and Linda May of Circleville and Stoutsville. Rocky Stidham, the trainer driver. The eight turned him over. Held by Kurt Nicholas of London. Uh, Robert Nichols Jr. is the trainer with Jim Daly driving. And from post nine, Katie's Noble Lady. Held by Wanda Everman of Spin, Ohio. Herbie Brown, the trainer and the driver. Win play show perfect. The gate swings out of the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and that's the uh, three-year-old uh, Brian's little girl from between horses, first for the lead. But there goes Trip of Bella bursting uh, from off the rail to take command. But from the far outside and circling, uh, here comes Turn Him Over. And Turn Him Over sat right to the front as she quickly powers to the front end on the inside. Trip of Bella now with cover is racing in second. Delta Flyer also came from the outside looking for a seat. She's found that behind the leader now in third on the inside and fourth. Brian's little girl before sunrise is away fifth. Two lengths in the sixth is the next episode. The opening quarter reached in 27 and three-fifths of a second. And the Phillies now in straight alignment. A bit strong out here, but Tripabella is back in control as Irvine putting her right back to the front end. Tripabella back on top a length and a half. On the inside, the turn him over is now racing a second. She is seven to one shot, enjoying the garden spot trip, followed up by a Delta Flyer in third, another two lengths in fourth to Brian's Little Girl, the half 58 and three. And before sunrise, we'll come to the outside and flush her cover in fifth. Next episode out the wheel in sixth. Red Romain to the outside, seventh, three lengths in eighth. She's a radio flyer with, and on the uh, end of the back end, it's Katie's Noble Lady as they race down the back stretch. And on the front, Trip of Bella now being joined up by Brian's little girl who is moving up alongside the pressure at the rail and racing in the third. Uh, turn him over to the outside with cover fourth. First time starter before sunrise. Three quarters, 128 and two. As they drive through the final turn, Trip of Bella has a lead here of a length and a half. But on the inside, turn him over is waiting for racing room and swinging three wide comes before sunrise with less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come and Tripabella now being pressured by before sunrise and before sunrise the debutante Philly before sunrise surging late getting up to win it by a length and a half in 157 and two. Tripabella was second turn him over third. Trackside in the winner's circle, winner of the second race. First time starter before sunrise for the world champion, Precious Bonnet. Out of a sunset mare, Moonshaker. Up at the Brittany Farms of Hercules, Kentucky, Daisy Acres of Australia, New York. Alan Regal trains Jeff out in the Sonke. Coming off an impressive qualifier before sunrise, scoring in her very first career start. Taking an impressive mark tonight, 157 and two fifths. Tonight's Daily Double 1-3.